Hello everyone, welcome to this session. This is a brand new series that we'll be starting today. And uh, in this session and upcoming few sessions, we'll be using tangles as strings, yes? So these sessions will be all about strings and the strings will primarily be tangles and we are going to use uh, different tangles to fill in these tangles which we use as strings, yeah? <laughs> so quite a bit of tongue twister there. So what I'm going to do is, uh, in today's session, I'm going to draw a tangle called flux, and then I'm going to fill it up with different tangle because the tangle flux is going to be used as a string, yeah? So starting with my regular tile here, which is the normal 3.5 inch square tile and my border in place, yeah. Start with a sense of gratitude and appreciation, yes, always. And I'm going to be using my Micron PN and start right away with a tangle called Flux. This is Rick's version of Flux, yeah. But generally the Flux has a dash here, a line coming from this point and then few dots, but I'm not going to be doing that exercise because as I mentioned, I'm going to be using flux as a string. Yeah, so I'm using the shape and creating kind of big balloon shapes there so that I have enough of space to add some more tangles there. Yeah. So you can draw behind and don't forget to add some orbs in between, very much a part of the tangle flux, yes, and then you can extend it a little more, add these big shapes but do not add anything inside, yes, so again I'm going to add So it's an organic tangle going by tangle genesis. It just grows. Nature inspired. Yes. And then again you can add some behind. Drawing behind. I'm just drawing randomly, not planning where, what. Yes. And then if you want, you can extend it a little more here. And then you can add some big and small orbs here. You can also fill in small little spaces. Yes. Entirely up to you. How do you want to go about it? One of the first few tangles drawn and taught to any beginner as far as entangle is concerned. Tangle flux. So I'm just extending it wherever I want because I intend to use it as a string. Yes. And if you want, then you can add some fescues. Just, or you can call it mooka. So I have just drawn fescue and added an aura, simpler version of mocha. You can add these or you can add any other filler tangle as you please. Yeah. You can add print terms, you can add floors in the background, anything, anything else. You can add night's bridge in the background if you want to fill up the entire space. I don't wish to, yeah, so I'm just going to add a couple of fescues here and there and keep the rest of the space empty. Again, finding opportunities there to insert some orbs because they add to the look of the tangle flux. Yes. So 
so you can draw any which ways wherever you want to place you can also add a little bit of ink there adds to the look yeah and we shall see if we want to add some more let us first move on to our flux yeah so I'm going to change pen now and I'm going to switch to my brown O1 yeah and then I'm going to add orbs inside each of these flux so this is again inspired from a recent project back where Maria just used the wells grid to fill up some of the sections between a tangle yeah so there's some bit of spaces here better to ink it yeah so once you have inserted that orb now you have to just add these curved lines something like nine right as many as you want so you can see it's a nine yeah So just rotate your tile, you don't have to move your hand much, whatever spaces you have, just retrace a part of the orb and then land on the opposite side, like this, yeah. So I'm just going to do that exercise use these nice fluffy flux as a string so this entire new series we are going to be using tangles as strings yeah and try and do interesting compositions at the same time and I've started live coming live on Instagram on Sundays and in case you have still not noticed yeah so I do a live session on Instagram on Sundays 11 to at 11 o'clock yeah so you can always join me live there right so I'm done with that exercise you can do a little bit of add a little extra ink there to highlight that center orb you can do that later also but I am just re-emphasizing that center orb so that doesn't get lost and then what Maria did was added these petal shapes right and then just add lines from both sides just weave the inside space something like this yeah one from each side and just fill up the space or what you can do is add more petals if you want yeah entirely up to you So that's the way I'm going to be filling all. So again, add petals first. So instead of the normal wells pointed petals, they are more rounded. Yes. And then I'm just filling up the in-between spaces. Just like betweed. Something like betweed. Yeah. So in case you find it difficult to fill up the space, you can change directions. That's fine spaces are small so just go by whatever spaces you have you don't have to be very particular about how you draw right so one from each side and just fill up the space just like you do for betweed
right so I'm going to continue like this I'll show you one more and now just weave yes so our flux look pretty different and we can use different colors so that our string looks discreet yeah so I'm still continuing with the same exercise the last few here adding this petal kind of shape to the wells grid and then just add lines coming from both sides just like between right and the last one here take your time So done with that. Now let us move on to shading. Yes, and if we want to add something else, we can do that after we finish with our shading. So again, just darken the edges. Or if you wish, you can add shading on one side. I'm going to add graphite on the edges. Make it dark so that the center pops up. Just make sure you keep it to the edges, yes. You don't want the entire thing grey once you blend it. So stick to the edges, make sure your pencil is sharp enough. can also make the black lines a little more bold if you wish you can use your 08 or 05 nib that's why I used PN which is a little bolder than the 01 if you wish to use a even bolder nib you can do that Yeah. So let's first blend this much. So as you blend, make sure you restrict it to the edges and leave the center white. Yes, like this. So it's a white tile. We may or may not use our white charcoal. If you want, you can highlight it a little more with your white charcoal but as it is it is already highlighted since the background is white so we'll use simple tangles as strings we will use different fillers other tangles to fill in the tangled strings throughout this series yeah so just basic supplies required here your square tiles or whatever tiles readily available with you
right so make sure you highlight the overlaps add a little extra graphite there so that they look like overlaps yeah blend it nicely here's an overlap so you can add some extra graphite there now if you want you can use your white chalk or you can leave it like this also so I'm just going to use my white chalk a little bit it will make my center a little lighter than what it is just using my finger to blend it you can always use a different blender This softens the brown pen a little bit and it just submerges into the background or maybe pop up, yeah? So what I'm going to do is if you have your brush pen handy, although it is not required here, but you can still run through your edges with your brush pen to add a little little extra darkness but this is again a choice you may or may not do it maybe I'll not do it everywhere just highlight a few places and add a little extra darkness there yeah that's it we don't need to add anything else yeah so that was flux as a string now if you want you can always highlight the orb if you have any other colored pen handy or you can also use a jelly roll I have this colored jelly roll handy so I'm just going to add a dot there You can do that with your white jelly roll or you may not do it also. Leave it the way it is. That's all fine. Yeah. That's about it. So let's close our tile here. Right. If you want you can add some bit of shading to the fescues also. I don't feel like I will stop here. Yes. Sign and date your tile. Yeah, today is right. So that's our tile for today. I shall see you again in the next session with another string idea, a tangled string. Right, till then, have a good time. Bye bye.